I'll tell you what, he's lucky he's in prison, otherwise I wouldn't be responsible for my actions. Well, Sinead just wants to forget all about it, but I thought you should see it. Tony, I, I don't know what to do for the best. I do. I'm calling the prison, tell him what he's been doing. If Laurie wants to take Sinead on, he can take us all on too. Anybody home? Hiya, darling, you drawing a picture? Hannah, come upstairs and get changed for me. What are you doing, Mum? I told you not to tell anyone. I only showed it to Tony. And I can't just forget about this, Sinead. I'm your mum. It's my job to protect you. No, it's not. And now you've made it a million times worse. But your mum's only looking out for you. It's my letter, OK? And I didn't want anyone else reading it. I needed to know what he wanted. What he always wants, Mum, to get inside me head. You're not getting that yet. I'm calling that prison. I'm making a uh, complaint. Do you two never listen to me? I don't want to make a complaint. I don't want to think about him. I don't want to hear his name. And I certainly don't want this poison round my daughter. I know. All right, I'm sorry. You know, you're lucky she can't read. Some of the things he said about her. But he's, he said stuff about Hannah. We well, haven't read it. Hey, Sinead, don't read it. No, no, no. Wild. Disgusting. Wait, where are you going? Move out of my way. No, no, stand away! Making you angry was the only way I could be sure you'd turn up. Just stay away from my family. Do you understand? No, sir, thank you. You could have left me to die, but you didn't. I push her. And you saved my life. After everything, you still love me. You are nothing but a rapist. We both know that's not true. Yeah? Then why are you pleading guilty to trying to rape my mum? Well, let's not pretend to please about anything other than getting the best deal. My solicitor thinks I'm looking at a suspended sentence. <laughs> You are more deluded than I thought if you think you're walking away from this. Get out of here, the quicker we can put all this behind us. We need each other. That's why we're always drawn back together. But I know it'll take time for us to trust. Do you think I will ever get back with you? <laughs> you are nothing but a weak, pathetic little boy. You'll get far without me. Look at you. The hair. A few weeks on your own and you're already back looking like a cheap tarp. But no matter how hard you try, you'll never be a patch on Sienna. She really is effortless. I don't care what you think. You don't get to decide who I am anymore. See you tomorrow. No. No. Because I'm not going to waste another moment on you. In fact, while you're waiting to be sentenced, I'm going to Beach Fields. You know, I love a good festival. Dancing, drinking, flirting. Yeah, well, that's all you're worth. A drunken fumble in the mud. Goodbye. Enjoy your stay. This is no good. Shit! What if you let him off with a slap on the wrists? He's not going to get off. He's pleading guilty. But Laurie gets in people's heads. He can talk his way out of anything. Tony, what if this nightmare isn't over? Oh, Sinead. Sinead, is it a festival right now? Probably getting sunburned. And we've asked Sammy to keep an eye on her. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Are you? Four years. You got four years. Tell me it's five for you. Oh, you. You deserve 
everything you get. Court. Uncomfortable seats, right? A bit of a riot broke out the other month. I was in as a witness. What were you in for? I'm an innocent man. Yeah, everyone that gets in these vans say they're innocent. Are you? I denied everything I ever did. But in the end, it's, it's better to admit what you are. I hear people, but I took advantage. Five years of rape. And I deserved every minute. It was a misunderstanding. It was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not what they say I am. There's someone. You'll never get past it. Until you admit it. And after I got done for rape. I'm not rape, it's the right. She's lying. She wanted it. Just like my wife did. Now she's off at some festival. Messing around with other guys when she should be with me. If I could just talk to her, I could make her understand. You shouldn't make her do anything. Listen, man. You've had a rough day. You just need to get some perspective. I need her. I need my wife. Yeah, but I don't think she needs you. You don't know what she needs, right? You don't know she needs. Lottie. Yeah. How do you know my name? Because I'm Finn O'Connor. And Sinead's my sister. Sinead, you come in. Um, do you know what? I think I'm gonna do my own thing today. Seriously, you're gonna turn down these and free coffee? Come on. Don't look too surprised. People turn down a lot of things. Sinead, come on, Liv. This is about I'll last See you guys night. later. Hey, listen. Hey, I've just found a bit of signal and, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna cut out and. Well, I don't even know if you're checking your phone, but. Listen, I'm so sorry about last night. I. You know, I was just trying to do the right thing. Trying to be the nice guy, and, and nice guys finish last. I know that. Anyway, look, we, we're going to be at the VIP area. I'll leave your passes on the gate. Come find us, yeah? Need a lift? Got off on time served. Well, what happened there then? Someone threw something outside the court. I may be free, but these accusations, they're gonna follow me for the rest of my life! And so they should! You attacked my mum at you! You raped me! Courts have let me go, Sinead. They're prepared to let me live my life. Then leave it away from me! Aren't you even gonna say sorry? <sighs> sorry? Sorry for what? 
For all the trouble you've caused me. The pain you inflicted. I loved you, Sinead. I really loved you. You don't do that to those that you love. I made a few mistakes in the heat of the moment, but I'm a passionate person. That's why you fell for me. They were mistakes. I wish, I wish. We were the sort of couple that sat down and talked about our problems, but we weren't. We grabbed each other, we kissed, we... We made love and then we made up. You have to remember what it was like. I remember how ashamed I felt. How destroyed you left me. I'm not a rapist. I'm not listening to this. I'm not like Finn. Your brother. I met him, we talked. It was interesting talking to a serious offender about his crimes. What Finn did, that's a boring, right? But unforgivable. Did you tell him what you did to me? <sighs> of course I did. How is that rape? That's what he said to me. Those were his exact words. You were married. It sounds like makeup sex. I know what my sister's like. He wouldn't say that. Help! Please escape from prison! Stop, 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 stop! Stop! Yeah. No, there was a crash, okay? There was a crash. I stole the car to get away. I found myself driving towards the festival. And then seeing you on the road, that's fate. It has to be. And you and me, we're bound by destiny. You're my wife, Sinead. She belongs to me! No, don't! Hey, hey, hey. Stop! Hey, hey. Listen, listen, listen. Think about the promises you made. Till death do us part. Remember that? You need to say you forgive me. And we'll, we'll drive away from here. We'll start a new life together. Yeah? I spent so much time thinking about what happened. How I became this person. And it all goes back to when we first got together. You needed taming, right? That was one of the first things you said to me. Don't. You were this wild, out of control, single mum living this chaotic life. And you needed someone to make you settle down, get your life back on track. Maybe I went too far. Too far? You're still doing it. I'm sat here thinking you're about to kill me, lovey. No, Sinead, how can you think that? How about the things that you say? I'm just lashing out because I love you so much. And the fact that you don't want me. You've got no idea how much that hurts. Do you really think we could work? Yeah, why not? We can get out of the country, away from everyone. Your family, Sienna, that's where it all went wrong. Because of you. I don't belong oh. in prison. I belong with you. You're the only person that can fix me, that can stop me hurting more people. Please. Sinead, please. One last chance. I can't go anywhere without Hannah. Oh. You'll do it. You'll come with me. Changed. No more control of me. No more violence. I promise. Okay. If 
you take me back to the village and let me get our little girl. Do you understand? We get Hannah and then we go. I can't trust you. Can I? Of course. I'll pull up next to them. I'll wind the windows down. You two let her jump in the back. What if they see you? Put my hood up. Just say I'm a taxi driver. I haven't got any of the clothes. But we can buy our new clothes, Sinead! Why are you shouting at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm taking a big risk coming here. There's police in the village. But I trust you. I do. Larry. Uh, you may need to get some help. No. No. I know. How's she been? Absolutely top of the turtles. <laughs> That's the last time you're going to see your daughter. Seriously going to work, are you? I'm fine. Okay, it'd be a lot better if we could find my stupid hairbrush. Hey, just relax, yeah, take a minute. Don't. Laurie used to do that to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot, sorry. No. No, you're not. I am. Look at the state of me. The man's been dead a day and nothing has changed. I'm still as weak and pathetic as I was when he was alive. I'm never going to be free of him. Hey. Hey, you will, OK? I promise. Listen to me. It's not safe for you to be treating anyone white like this. Please, just, just give yourself a break. I should be relieved. I should be dancing on his grave in my best pair of high heels, but I don't know whether to cry, scream, shout, celebrate. <sighs> Saving people is what I do. But I couldn't save Laurie. And maybe... Maybe on some level, I let him die. No, no, that's ridiculous. Look, Laurie died of a suspected embolism. Like, we went through that with the police. But what if I could have done more? Look, he was threatening your life, OK? What happened to Laurie was his own fault. Listen, why don't I go and pick up Hannah from Tom's Turtles? OK, we'll have a nice meal and watch the greatest movie ever. And obviously, I'm talking about Die Hard, not Mean Girls. <laughs> Just promise me one thing. No work today, OK? <laughs> hey, you all right? Just on my way to pick up Hannah. You know, the three of us are going to have a duvet day. Finally convinced Sinead to take it easy. Right, well, she left for work about an hour ago. Tried to stop her, but you know how she needs. 
I just don't get it. Why would she want to be at the hospital today? Be at all those. Sammy? Hello, Laurie. I reported you to the police for rape and you cheated justice. I pushed you over a school balcony and you survived. You even managed to escape from prison. And every time I want to move on with my life again, there you are! Why don't you just stay on the life? <laughs> That's why I'm here. Because I needed to know that this time, you're not coming back. And now I see you. You're lying there. Do you know what I feel? Absolutely nothing. You don't have any power over me anymore. No more upset. No more drama. And no more hate. Me and Hannah, we will be happy again. And I will never let anyone who brings that much pain into my life ever again. Schneider, are hey, you all right? I've been so worried about you. What are you doing here? It's nothing. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> Thank you.